Uh, I just want to say a little bit about um, my involvement in public policy over the entire span of my career. Um, I've come to describe my work in public policy uh, more recently, not as public policy, but as sausage making. <laughs> and uh, if that's a metaphor that helps you remember what I say, please uh, retain that metaphor. And I, I'm particularly interested in sausage making these days because I am in the Senate of Canada. And uh, as you know, the Senate is the last stage in the making of federal laws, which means when I get the sausage, it's packed, it's packaged, it's sealed, and it's very hard to undo. In fact, uh, trying to undo a sausage is uh, very hazardous for a variety of reasons, uh, partly because you don't know what you might find inside, and also because you, when you undo a sausage, you can't put it back together. But that's about the Senate. Uh, in my previous uh, work uh, experiences, I have had the opportunity to be involved in sausage making at various stages of sausage making. And my message to you is that uh, you too are involved in different stages of sausage making. And to be conscious of the sausage being formed, I think it's a, it's a useful way of understanding how you contribute to the public policy process through civic involvement. I started my career as a, I guess you would call it a technocrat. I was an economist in the Central Bank of Singapore, so I provided so-called expert advice on you know, various economic issues. That was an input into the sausage making. You might say that was um, kind of selecting the ingredients, you know, the, uh, the uh, spices and the choice of meats or non-meats, uh, as the case may be. I've also worked uh, as uh, a consultant for, uh, for governments and international organizations. Again, part of, in a way, choosing the packaging, uh, the casing uh, for sausages, a um, very crucial part of sausage making. I've worked as uh, an advocate for uh, various causes, uh, including here locally promoting Vancouver as a destination for head office investment. Again, part of um, sausage making because there are a variety of public policy implications uh, that come with trying to promote Vancouver as a head office uh, destination. And then for much of my career, as uh, Sam mentioned, I was the CEO of the Asia Pacific Foundation of Canada, which is a research organization, a think tank to use the, the shorthand, uh, on public policy with respect to contemporary Asia and the Canada-Asia relationship. And all of you know how important that is, particularly now with um, various challenges around China, Hong Kong, but Asia more broadly. In my role as the head of a think tank, I was, um, I was directly uh, offering public policy advice to the Canadian government of different political stripes on how I thought and how my organization thought Canada could better benefit from our relationship with Asian countries. This advice was provided um, gratuitously, if I can put it that way, and wasn't uh, always or often accepted, but it was a way for me to understand sausage making from the outside. Uh, you might describe it as sort of the uh, consumer reports, you know, where you, you or, or food reviews where you taste the different sausages and you give uh, your comments on which ones you like and which ones you don't. And it may or may not change any sausage maker's view of how they do things, but nevertheless, uh, it's an input. That brings me to my current role as a senator in Canada's upper house. Um, Sam did not mention that I am an independent senator which is uh, the only reason I decided to take the position. This is a new, um, a new approach that the current Prime Minister, now running for election, has decided to take. Uh, since 2016, he has appointed only senators, or he has, he has appointed senators in a non-partisan uh, role only, and all of them, bar one, uh, have decided to sit as independents and as members of the independent senators group, which I happen to, to lead. 
We are now the largest group in the Senate with uh, 59 members out of 105. And our mission, apart from doing the work of senators, which is to review legislation and offer suggestions for improvement and so on, our mission is to make the Senate as a whole more independent, less partisan, so that it can provide the kind of um, input and uh, to use the cliche sober second thought that uh, the Founding Fathers intended for Canada's uh, upper house. So I will end there uh, again with the admonition that you, um, uh, every time you sink your teeth into a sausage, think about the pub public policy process, <laughs> think about uh, how you are part of that process, whether or not you are in elected office. Uh, in all of your respective roles in NGOs or business or education, government and so on, uh, if you are interested in public policy, you can play a role and it's simply a question of understanding what the policy be, pu public policy implications are of your work and finding the intersection points where you can make a difference in that particular public policy domain. Thank you very much.